because nowadays we are always using phone, laptop, and a posture tends to be like this. And as you know, it's not good. But in order to fix this posture by doing this, it's actually not that good either. And sometimes cause the different body parts in pain. So today we're gonna find the proper position of the upper body. And by keeping that position, we're gonna introduce eight Pilates for arms and shoulders. All right, whenever you're ready, let's begin. All right, so first you can sit down on the mat, crossing your legs, or just sit on the chairs. But you can see yourself from the side on the mirror and we're gonna sit down on your booty bone I'm sure you guys can feel those bones underneath of your hip now you're gonna sit down straight and your tailbone is off the mat now when you see the posture from the side the back of your head shoulder braid and your hip are in line now you are in a good posture and we're gonna keep this by squeezing your abs Today is going to be arms back push up. So open your arms to the side and your palms facing backward. You're just going to push the air towards the back. Three, two, one, go. All right, we got this. Exhale, exhale. Relax on your shoulders and then just push the air to the back as much as you can. Now try not to move your upper body because of your arms, but always. Keep squeezing your abs and stabilize your core. Right now, we are working out only our arms, especially this in front of the shoulders. I'm sure you can feel that part. Relax on your shoulders and keep breathing. Inhale. And exhale. We got this. Beautiful work, guys. Bend our elbows, bring it to this position, and we're just gonna bring it forward and backward, just like this. Start. Here we go. And back, and front, and back. When you bring it down on the back, imagine that your shoulder blades is kind of crossing. Yeah. Just moving forward and backward, and feel with your shoulders. So as triceps. If you have a mirror next to you, you can always check your posture. Are you still in a good posture? Your back is straight. Keep it up. and put our hands behind your hip make sure your fingers are facing to your hip and we're just gonna take our hip all the way up and drop it down leg pull stand by Start. here we go inhale ready and as you exhale hip all the way up and stretch it to your head and bring it down exhale up and inhale down. Make sure again, keep squeezing your abs and stabilize your pelvis position so that you can reduce the pressure on your shoulders and the arms, but more focus on your inner muscles. You are technically bringing your hip to the ceiling, but imagine that your body is stretching to the top to your head and your body is just stretching it out. Here we go. Now we're gonna keep it on top and we're gonna bend our knee one by one. Now if you wanna challenge yourself, you can extend your leg and switch to another. Here we go, we got this. Start. First, we're gonna bring your hip all the way up, stabilize your pelvis, and then bring your leg one by one. Always inhale ready, exhale up. Inhale, down, just like this. Just 45 seconds, we get this. Now drop your hips 
down and we're gonna move into back bridge. So bend your knees with a 45 degree angle and again we're gonna bring our hip all the way up. Now bend your ankles and push up. Here we go. Exhale down and up. Make sure to not drop only your hip, but bend your elbows as much as you can. Wow. 
All right, now put your hands down and move your shoulders a little bit forward. All right, now we're gonna move into Tiger Pose. We're going to extend one arm a little bit forward, open your armpit as much as you can and pull your hip all the way back so that you can feel your armpit through your chest or stretching. Alright, the other side as well. Here we go. Now we're going to get back to the child pose one more time. Now take one arm underneath of your chest and twist your body. Here we go. And switch the side. working out with me. I hope you guys can feel your arms and shoulders, especially the deltoids because that's the part that we focused on today. Whatever you do, like even just sitting down, watching TV, or using your phone, always try to keep this best posture as much as you can because you already know and improve your rounded shoulders and rounded back. Alright, please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!